Alright, so another Comic Con trailer, and it's for the sequel to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, or also called Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, I really like the first Fantastic Beasts, uh, Beasts movie. It was just a nice, like, small part of, like, the Wizarding Universe, and even though it takes place before Harry Potter, I liked how, like, you know, it's a different setting. It's not, like, London or anything. It's, like, in the U.S., and we're following, um, Newt's Commander, and it was just a nice little, like, side story that's developing into, like, a full franchise now, I guess, that, you know, um, introduces, like, a new take, a new, like, adult take, I guess, on this, uh, wizarding world, so, uh, Comic-Con came out with the trailer for the movie, so, let's see. I'm scared, Professor Dumbledore. Everyone is scared of something. Ridiculous! Mute? You're up next. That's an unusual one. Hmm. What Mr. Scamander fears above everything else is... Having to work in an office, sir. Huh. <laughs> Go ahead, Mute. Ridiculous! Interesting. Magic blooms only in rare souls. Hmm. Wow. Still, we must skulk in shadows. The old ways serve us no longer. There he is. I take it. You've heard the rumors. Grindelwald had a vision that he would rise to dominance over the wizarding world. So you're asking me to help hunt him down? I can't move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. In your shoes, I'd probably refuse to. It's late. Good evening, Newt. Oh, come on. <laughs> you underestimate your talents, Mr. Scamander. Your arrogance is a key to our victory. Muggles are not lesser. Disposable. Wow. You're too good, Newt. You never met a monster you couldn't love. Credence! Hmm. Mr. Scamander! Do you think Dumbledore will mourn for you? Huh. Are you, are you a ghost? No, I'm alive, <laughs> but I'm an alchemist and therefore immortal. Oh, Nicolas Flamel. Jacob Kowalski. Oh, oh. <laughs> you look a day over 375. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. I couldn't even speak during that because it's just like, it's like pure imagination, you know? And because it's all original works, I guess now, like how J.K. Rowling is writing for these movies, it's like there's no limit to what she can bring, you know, or what they can bring to the movie because uh, you're not restricted in a sense, like by the books or like by original works, right? So it's great. Um,. It's interesting to see, you know, younger younger Dumbledore. Uh, I guess we'll see how villainous and sinister Grindelwald will be, as well as like seeing Newt Scamander's like uh, time at Hogwarts when he's younger. And it's very interesting how what he fears is having like a nine to five, 
you know like he wants to go out and explore the world you know see creatures fantastic beasts so i appreciate like that the oh, what's the word like how they're like going for it you know like just something that's like purely magical no pun intended maybe a little bit but this is an interesting world and they're adding so much more you know depth to it adding new characters and i guess um we'll see if news commander can really um love any kind of creature or like appreciate any kind of beast that he comes across so i'm excited are you excited did you like the first movie the first fantastic beast movie let me know in the comments and uh be sure to like and subscribe for more in the future and yeah we'll see you in the next video